my name is April, and in this episode of Thrifted Transformations, I am transforming three green t-shirts into Joy's dress from inside out. Let's get started. To make the top part of the dress, I'm taking the smaller shirt and cutting off the sleeves and the neckband to turn it into a tank top. Then I'm taking in the sides of the shirt to make the tank more fitted on me. I've already tried the shirt on inside out and have marked how much needs to be taken in. Once I have the sides of the shirt marked, I am just going to serge the sides with my serger. If you don't have a serger, you can just use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. And lastly, for the top, I'm cropping it at my waist. To make the skirt, I'm using two large t-shirts I found in the men's section of the thrift store. And I'm starting off by cutting the sleeves off of both shirts, and then cutting straight across the top right underneath the neckband. After that, I cut up the sides of the shirt so the front and back are separate pieces. Next, I'm going to create a bigger piece of fabric by sewing the two pieces back together and getting rid of that armhole curve. Because the shirts I found have designs on them, I'm going to do everything backwards and sew the pieces wrong sides together. This way, the designs will be facing the inside when I'm done. Now I have a bigger piece of material to cut out the skirt. With the two large t-shirts, I have enough material to create a three-quarter flared skirt. Creating this pattern is similar to making a full circle skirt. So using this circle skirt chart, I first find the measurement of my waist in the first column, then I move over to the three-quarter circle column and use the measurement it gives me to create my skirt. Taking a big piece of wrapping paper, I make sure one of the corners is a perfect 90 degree angle and then starting at the corner, I measure out the number from the chart and create a nice curve. Then from that curved line, I measured out how long I want my skirt to be and create the outer circle. This pattern piece equals one quarter of the skirt, so since we're making a three quarter skirt, we would need to cut out three of these pieces. I only had enough space to cut out two pieces of the skirt, so I sewed together the leftover pieces to create another big piece of fabric. Now that I have three quarters of the skirt cut out, I can sew all the pieces together at the side seams. Once the skirt is finished, I flip it upside down and sew it right sides together to the top half of the dress. After the dress is complete, I can paint on the blue firework shapes that are all over Joy's dress. And I'm going to create them by using some blue puffy paint and some blue glitter. First, I place one of my bobbins down to use as a guide to draw the sparks around, but you can go ahead and use a quarter or any circular shaped item around you. Then I just freehand paint out of the bottle, and after painting each one, I tap some glitter on top to make them stand out even more. Also make sure to reference a picture of her dress to see where the fireworks are placed and how big they are. Thank you. 
After painting a few fireworks, I let the spots completely dry before turning the dress over to paint the other side. Here is the final transformation. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more episodes of Thrifted Transformations, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment down below what costume you want to see next. See you next time!